What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com here. So today, got the old school Grasshopper 2 from Tamiya. Then we have the re-release of the Grasshopper 2 from 2017. So really cool on that part of it. If you're looking at these little parts here, this is pretty much what's left of, this is all that's left of my Grasshopper 2. Uh, this is a, a borrowed Grasshopper 2 from my cousin. Uh, he let me borrow it. Uh, my aunt actually was the one that let me borrow it because of the fact that my cousin, he's not here right now. He's out of state. So uh, anyway, we have, we're gonna be go ahead, I'll open this box up, take a look at it. Let me go over a few little things that this thing comes with differently. Uh, this comes with electronic speed controller, which the re previous, this one had a mechanical, the OG one, the original. Uh, so I'll be using this little synchro receiver. So you're gonna need a receiver for your, if you're gonna purchase one of these, you're gonna need a servo. So I'm using this like 15 kilogram hex fly. This is um, Red Cat stuff right there. And this is Kyosho stuff that's here, the Synchro. So I like this one, it's got lots of adjustments on it. On the fly, you can make all that stuff happen. So this comes with a 380 motor, but it's capable of the 540 motor, which is, let's say this is the bigger one. I think this is the one that came out of mine. It's a Mabachi, Mabachi, Mabuchi, Mabuchi. I think it's how you say it, Mabuchi. Anyway, Tamiya, Tamaya, I don't know how you ever you say it. You, um, so anyway, that's what it comes with. Let's go ahead, let's take a look real quick what's in the box. I mean, we already gonna kinda know, but let's go ahead and take a look real quick. Okay, so let's see how this thing gets packed in the box anyhow. I know the box is definitely feels to be smaller. They've compacted it over time. So as we can see, there we go. Got our performance box here. High performance off-road racer. <laughs> on that part of it anyway okay so we got all our little stuff that's in here all our little tools not tools but all our little parts so yeah cool good deal good deal and you can definitely tell as far as my old stuff that's there too so yeah all right let's go ahead and see what else is in there we got the body so nothing fancy on that one looks to be the same on that part of it let's see why not tires tires look smaller not don't seem well, we'll see they look a little bit if I'm not mistaken look a little bit narrower but maybe they're just about the same hard to say all right chassis so let's go ahead we've got the electronic speed controller which is cool so that's nice on that rims so we can see the rims definitely the rims on so yeah it's definitely smaller they've shrunk some stuff on here that's for sure no doubt about that one all right I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing together well, then we'll do a comparison between the two after that, and then we'll do a running video of both of these things running. Maybe not together, but see how fast one is over the other. All right, guys, so here's the 380 motor, and here's the 540 motor. So we can see the difference as far as size on that one. Got it all put together. It didn't take that long to put it together, a couple hours, something like that. It's taking my time with it. This is my motor from back in the day from my Grasshopper 2. It is different as far as the end on it, but it's still, I don't know. It seems to be it. Now, as far as shocks go, you can obviously see the difference visually. You can see it. The wheels are a little bit smaller in the front and in the rear when it comes to, I mean, this thing had spikes on it before and it would be definitely taller. So, you know, narrower as far as that part goes and as far as just the height, not as there, not there either. Uh, stickers are all generic on here. There's no real advertisement that I can see on it. You know, these are all generic here where back in the day they had gum out your fuel system cleaner, you know, Excel. I think these were ignition system or so. Champion spark plug, pastoral oil. Uh, I don't know what the Weber is to be honest. Monroe shocks. So there's all that kind of stuff as well. Um, stickers seem to be pretty much for the most part, uh, if whatever they could put on there that was normal would be it. Like I'm hopping mad on there. Same thing. They just had theirs reversed on it. But uh, nonetheless, now the only thing is, again, I just kind of showed you too before. As far as the, sh the shock suspension there, it's pretty much the same. This is just old worn out system that's on here. But yeah, definitely a difference in the motor you can see there, but it does have an adapter on it just to kind of let you guys know. So you just take the adapter off and then you can put your regular size motor right in there, meaning like a 540. So I'll probably put my old school motor, literally old school motor in there after I'm gonna do a run. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a run. We'll use this little 3000 milliamp battery, nickel metal hydride battery. So we'll use that one. We'll see how fast this old school one goes compared to the new one. And then uh, then I'll just probably do a speed run when I switch this motor out. It's pretty much gonna be, well, we'll see. 
but I won't do it the same day, the same recording. So it'll just be another time or something like that when I want to tinker with it a little bit more. But uh, as of right now, yeah, let's go ahead and get these things out and see which one's a little bit faster. I think I'm going to put my money on this one. The, the old school one's going to be faster. All right, so first up is the OG Grasshopper 2. So let's see how fast this one goes with our GoPro stuck on top of it. Might get a little bit of rain here, so got to make it a little bit quick. So brand new Grasshopper 2, see what this thing can do. Oh yeah, definitely a lot slower. That's full, uh, that's full throttle right there. Ooh. 